hold on. You don't want to start giving them names. Not if they're about to die. Well, they're not. All the rats are 100% healthy. No sign of the disease, no side effects. It's a silver bullet. You sound like one of the press releases. Who? Escher Pharmaceuticals. Your lord and master. Well, they pay for your food as well. I grow my own. I'm away. Uh, Susie, behave. Behave. I might have known. Can't you read? Or speak. <laughs> the cat got in through a locked door. I don't think so. Feline, animal of the cat tribe. You are banned from the hydroponicum until further notice. Well, go. Specimens 27 and 28, the white cell count was found to be at a normal level after three treatments. The rate of cure increased in speed by an average of 8%. The volume of the slime mold-based vaccine administered was double that of batch 26, with no discernible side effects. Sorry, Harry, sorry. We mustn't let Esha know we're slacking. Oh, we but only went to bed five hours ago. That's what I mean. You don't need to impress me, Paula. Work the hours and take more time for yourself. I don't need more time for myself. You get tired, you make mistakes. Two crew members have discussed Project Silver Bullet over the downlink. The company is not taking any disciplinary action, but I would advise you to remind everyone on board of the confidentiality clauses in their contract. Silver Bullet? It's, it's really just a figure of speech. Not any longer. It is now a registered trademark. The science officer is now on deck. Good morning, Eschenbach. Morning. You should know that the company is delighted with your continuing progress on a cure for leukemia. Escher Pharmaceuticals report no reoccurrence of the disease in all specimens since the 14th batch. Good. Escher's figures are on the shuttle, for your eyes only. It's known that at least one rival company is close to a similar breakthrough. I understand. You have authority to defer your trials on the serial genetics for G and B. I already have. We're working on it, night and day. Asher feels confident that they can commence human trials. If you give us the all clear on batch 28. Thank you, officer. Harry, I'm sorry if that was a little abrupt. Control wanted to speak to you straight away. Sure. I think uh, that just now was really for my benefit. You know, approbation in front of the commander. We're working as fast as we can. Oh, well, that's not in question. I don't want you to feel that the company's putting you under any undue pressure. Don't worry. I know when I've had enough. Right. And Paula? Well, she's fine. We want to succeed just as much as you do. Lyle, you have voluntarily presented yourself for a SAS. Science communications evaluation and optimization of personnel goals. Personal or personnel? L, as in those employed. Please say yes to register your consent. Yes. I understand you have been very keen to try out this new form of assessment. In fact, you are the first crew member I have spoken to. I love new things. I urgently need to know how they work. Do you become uninterested in things that aren't new? Such as? Long-term experimentation. Oh, right. This is a trick question. I detect a note of anger there, Lyle. Not at all. What have I got to be angry about? Losing your position. Come again? You used to be the chief science officer on Unity. 
How do you feel about that? Coordinates acquired, okay for approach. I just saw on the news that the rats in Boston are becoming immune to poisons. And there we are spending millions to infest unity. It'll be cockroaches next. Better watch what you're saying. They're Lyle's favorite subject at the moment. Okay. No, it's something to do with this high-protein food project. I've seen him microwave them. He eats them? Follow your approach, 30 meters and counting. You know, Susan, sometimes it's difficult working with you. Thank you for your cooperation, Walter. It's been good to talk. It sure has. Wow. I'd love to put a face to that. Hmm. Everyone falls in love with their shrink water. Listen now. I'm not the only one doing this, am I? No, it's compulsory. Okay, that's good then. You sound a little concerned. You have nothing to hide. They don't know about my... You know what? Look, Walter, it wasn't a stroke. It was a transient ischemic event. Transient being the key word. And you don't have to whisper. No one's listening. They're supposed to have this for legal reasons. Oh, great. <laughs> I can listen to her voice. About your cellular slime mold? Ours. Dictyostelium discoidium. Dark matter. We think the zero gravity makes it that colour. Do we? I thought we decided slime molds were a road to nowhere. They enabled us to make the cytotoxin for the leukaemia vaccine G6. All leukaemias? Myeloid. Which are relatively rare. But still, you have to start somewhere. Oops. Harry. Postman's arrived. Life support. No letters? No, they return the cell biology data for some reason. Oh, well, they want you to break the figures. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. They just want me to run visual checks and all samples 14 through 20 by week 16. Just. It is week 16. Don't swear. I'll help you. It's my signature on the bottom. I'll do it myself. Paula, I've been watching you. I've never seen you so absorbed in your work. Because I know exactly what we're trying to achieve for a change, and I think we're about to get there. Oh. Miranda's first painting. It's beautiful. What is it? A party? Yeah, pretty wild one. My babies. You know, before iris scanning, the cops used to use prints just like these. Easy to fake, I would have thought. Of course, that's why they dropped them. Were well, you a criminologist in a former life, Shannon? No, I had a friend who was in prison. Oh, well, what was he in for? Cattle rustling. Uh -huh. It was a sheep. It's none of your damn business. Are oh, you raised the subject? No, that's in California, not Texas. Ooh. Why do you do that? That needle people. I hope you're getting all this down, Cabby. My needling. Uh, pharmacy requisition. I called him trouble again, now. I love making trouble. That's why I needle. I'm sure it's not jealousy. <laughs> of whom, Paula? Of Silver Bullet, because it's the most successful thing we've uh, ever done. Well, we did achieve quite a lot before you came I here didn't to work. Mean it like that, I'm sorry. I'm not 
jealous. In fact, if I were chief science officer, I would be wondering whether or not my time might be better spent on other projects. Mm. So do you have? Well, I'm no longer privy to all the R&D you get from the company, but there's a whole load of stuff backing up behind this one. Mm -hmm. Such as? Entomological research, immunity to toxins, microwave energy. Wonderful stuff. Mm -hmm. To be pursued in your own time. I just wonder what kind of incentive you're getting to keep Silver Bullet going. If you were due some kind of financial reward, that might explain. Well, I'm not. Shut up, Lyle. You're giving us all a headache. Harry and Paula must be doing something, right? Otherwise, the company wouldn't be jumping up and down like they are. It's basically an epidemiological study. What I don't understand is why Escher can't do the same trials in their own laboratories. Because it's not the same. In zero G, the individual slime mole cells aggregate in a unique way. If we can keep them alive, we can extract the cytotoxins they produce, but and therefore... Perhaps you'd like to go and get your notes. to you, hmm? And Lettuce. I've seen her on your bed a couple of times. Such a traitor. So what are we listening to? It's a relaxation tape. I've got Woodland Bird Song and Tropical Storms. And I swears by them. Well, it doesn't need help to relax. Well, it wasn't very relaxed 20 minutes ago. Well, uh, you don't need to go into details. Girl, we may be really interested in Silver Bullet actually it's not really his business i get so involved i can't help talking about it yeah maybe you get too involved meaning that you might get withdrawal symptoms when the job is over i can't win can i i just enjoy what i'm doing can we leave it at that please the company knows that you've been talking to others over the downlink i'll keep it to myself good Specimen 2816. If we can cure you, Bernard, we can cure anything. 100 micrograms G6. I thought we were only giving them 50 micrograms. They show one a 99.9% .9 tolerance. Let's see if they've already got it. It's called initiative, Paula. Right. Wow. Are you growing something to smoke? Have you not seen this before? No, I can't say that I have. Belcampia lausetia. Quite a beautiful specimen, actually. Oh, I hate it when you do that. Are you telling me you created this monstrosity? It's a female. Yeah, well, she's past her prime. On the contrary. This is a special moment for her. Fully mature and very fertile. Australian bush essences, the Aborigines have known about their medicinal qualities since the beginnings of time. I've got three native species to combine here. You're uh, giving me a strange look, Shannon. It'll be animals next, right? Well, animal forms aren't so easy. Well, I sure hope you know what you're doing. I hope you always hope that, Shannon. What are you going to poison with this thing? Blata orientalis. Mm, that's those beetles, right? Yeah, cockroaches are quite specific physiology. <sighs> Bugs. Yes. Listen, Lyle, I'm sorry I barked at you over lunch. Uh, I thought everyone was a bit touchy. Have you done this new assess thing yet? Yeah, right after you. What do you think they're trying to get at? That depends on what they asked you. And by the way, was it a woman? Yeah, great voice. <laughs> yes? Well, she wanted all of them in my childhood, you know, the usual stuff. Yeah. Knew a lot about surfing, though, for an academic. Did uh, Kave give you a desk after your session? Yeah. Would you mind if I had a team? Sure. Help yourself. You know all my darkest secrets anyway. <laughs> yes, I do, don't I? Harry. Hi, you have to do this assess thing as well. Uh, yes, I, w I will do eventually. Give me a couple of minutes, Kave. Sure. Miranda. So 
wealthy one and a half year old is celebrating her first day of play school. Do you enter to learn? Not when you're unique. Miranda Ishmael is the daughter of the chief science officer aboard Unity, the space station in near Earth orbit, and the first child to be born in space. Why are they doing this? Ugh. It's publicity, Harry. A good human story. I noticed they didn't send me a copy. Well, I checked with control. They said they'd okayed it with the child's guardian. No, my mother wouldn't allow it. Unless, of course, she's proud of it. I don't want Miranda to be a freak. Then you want to keep it? No, I have better pictures. <laughs> We made some more vaccine. Wonderful, but I'm not staying. But they all need their first dose by 1700. Later. Don't you care? Later. Okay with you? All right, I'll continue on our own. I don't want to fall behind. trials. Solution G6. Three hundred milligrams into the sternum. Date and time is recorded. Why shouldn't it be? I'm just asking a question. Everything's just as it should be. Under control. Why don't you take a break? Why don't you just let me get on with my work? I'm ordering you to take a break. I might just do that. You've just seen an exact match of the two voice frequencies. It's an AI system and a pretty damn impressive one. Artificial intelligence. Well, whatever it is, what could it be telling the company? Well, that's the scary bit. They could make all kinds of decisions based on the information this thing is giving to them. People are always afraid of uh, new procedures like... But the company have lied to us. We're meant to believe we're speaking with an eminent psychologist. Don't do anything for a couple of days. Let Catherine take the assessment. She'll be more sympathetic if she's been duped herself. And then we'll refuse to cooperate, right? Can't promise anything, okay? What do you think you're doing in here? You're banned from the hydroponicum. Oh, I see. I owe you an apology. The cat has been in here. Hey. Hey. Do you mind? No, no, I love company. So what were you thinking about? Oh, I was just dreaming. I was in Chuck's place in the corner of Edison and Fourth. The end of a great day. Ah, wonderful. Surf's up. <laughs> this is it. You keep Pacific time on your watch. Is that true? Absolutely true. It's 8 p.m. <laughs> I'm a little sentimental. <laughs> yeah, we all need something to keep us sane. Hey! 
Have you got that shot of Miranda on you? Yeah. It's getting all worn out. Oh. Ain't she beautiful? She's just some ordinary kid, Walter. Well. The company is trying to get their hands on her and turn it into an exhibit. First child born in space and all that stuff. Yeah, Catherine told me. It's worse. They're trying to experiment on her. What do you mean? Hothouse her. See, is she psychologically any different from other kids? Look, if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. My mother is her guardian. And she can decide. But I'm afraid she likes all the attention. They want to put Miranda in a class of her own. Never seeing anyone, never having any friends. Hey, it, it can't be that bad. You're right. It stinks. Extraction of bone marrow. From subject, Paula Hernandez. Date and time as recorded. Hi. Yes? Are you okay? What do you want? Hmm. Don't you worry about Matisse? With all these lunch boxes here? No, she's not interested. She just wants to sleep all day. Hmm. It's just causing havoc and avionics. Screeching and fighting. Fighting who? Walter. That cat just freaked out. You know, threw itself at the monitor. <laughs> you think that's funny? It's just what I feel like doing sometimes. Do you know you shouldn't put yourself in a mood like this? What did you say? Avoiding mid lunchtime. What do you imagine other people think? Jason, I don't have time to talk about your problems. My problems? Look, and everything between you and me is always too complicated. Uh, I guess I better leave then. Yeah. Uh, perhaps you can tell Harry about the cat. I was due to speak with Harry Eschenbach yesterday. Didn't you tell her that a sex was obligatory? She wanted to postpone. Why? She wasn't feeling up to it. She is unwell. She's fine. I'll decide when she's ready to speak to you. I'm sure I can relieve you of that decision. I know my patient's history better than anyone. That's why I'm up here. Yet you have the authority to make a comply. She didn't want to talk. That's all there is to it. Do you feel uncomfortable giving instructions to a woman? Not in the slightest. But this can only succeed if I speak with crew members on a regular basis, not only when they feel prepared or defensive. What uh, blood group is the chief science officer? AB, rhesus negative. And her daughter? The same. You don't have to test me. I know as much is, as... Is uh, Harry's hair long or short? We can discuss this further when you are alone. No marrow extracted from Paula Hernandez. No obvious discoloration. Consistency normal. Vaccine G6 is constructed upon cytotoxins TH3 and TH8. There's no sign of a contra effect. Blood cells are fine. Just as I hoped. Yes! Great! Your session with SS starts at 11.20. If you come in a few minutes early, I can tell you how it works. You examined me twice. What's wrong with me? Once was enough, twice to reassure you. I know there's something wrong with me. Please sit up. Yeah. 
Can you give me a clue? You're the doctor. But are you any good? I can't help remembering you didn't know Harry was pregnant until she was 12 weeks. Whatever Harry has told you, it's simply not true. She should know. She should know better. Did she tell you that she tried to conceal her pregnancy from me? Huh. Doctoring samples is not very difficult for somebody as qualified as Harry. But you're not pregnant. I can guarantee that. No. <laughs> no, me too. But seriously, Paula, you don't cast doubt on people's proficiency. No. You're professionals here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, I'm okay, everything's fine. Yes, everything is fine. <laughs> okay. So, everything's okay, huh? Yes, it is. Um, what time's my assessment? At 11.20. I'll call you. Okay. Okay. Morning, Paula. Fancy your coffee? Leave me alone. You realise that, of course. <laughs> Catherine, I don't want this to sound like our annual general meeting, but someone has to air a complaint about a set. I really think they're okay. I don't know why you want to get upset, but there's always something with you, isn't there now? Maybe you want to create a union, us versus them. Sometimes it is us versus them, and this is one of them. We're people, not automatons. With the SES, it's the other way round. If you're right about that, 100%. So who's for and who's against? Okay, Lal, I'm going to stop you there. We don't do straw polls on unity. If anyone has a genuine grievance, they can speak to me confidentially. I don't like it. You haven't done it. I haven't done a parachute jump. I know I wouldn't like that either. You know, I'll bet you would. We do this officially if we do it at all. And you'll abstain, right? I'll be the casting vote, seven crew. Where's Paula? Paula. What do you want? Assess. I said I'd remind you. But I just left you. You have five minutes. Database, full audit, unity and associated project. Voice pattern unidentified, not in database. Well, she's got to be there if she's in the company. May I call you Lyle? Aren't you happy with your name? Lyle, you have voluntarily presented yourself for a set. Science communications evaluation and optimization of personnel goals. So there is a god, Professor J. Harding. We're all frightened of dying, Paula. That's a natural emotion. I'm not frightened. That's what I'm saying. I think about it a lot, but I'm not afraid. Because of your work, many people will live. Perhaps you feel you have conquered death. You think my work is good? I've seen the data. I think you're on the verge of something extraordinary. Will I be able to see it? See what, Paula? The end of it before they get me. Who is going to get you? thing that's living inside me. I'm not allowed to discuss it. It's confidential. 
I am the company. You can tell me. No, the company cautioned me because I mentioned Silver Bullet. It... It, it, it was vanity or, or, or stupidity. I, I don't know which, but either way, I'd let everybody down. You said that something was living inside you. Vanity. Three, two, one. One. Yes. Uh, Professor Harding? Yes. Who is this? It's Lyle Campbell. You said I could call you at any time? Uh, from Unity? I have something here that might interest you. May I call you Lyle? Aren't you happy with your name? Lyle. You have voluntarily presented yourself for assess. Science communications, evaluation, and optimization of personnel goals. You're on Unity, the space station? Th that's correct. You're uh, no longer a TAM IT professor. I called them. Oh, bastards. <laughs> I take it you didn't voluntarily present yourself for assess. What are they calling it? Assess means nothing to you? As in assessment? What an insult. I suggested that name years ago. Uh, you don't work for science communications. Uh, no, no, I'm just a victim of your software-driven or sat psychobabble. It, it, it's not something I was proud of. It was a mercenary exercise. The thing is, it doesn't work. It's too crude and full of easy assumptions. That's why I abandoned it. A string of IT companies brought the rights, so uh, I can't lose sleep. But to use my sample voice, that hurts. No, actually, they turned you into a woman. Perhaps they thought subjects would confide more readily to Big Mother. Oh, they're gonna burn for this. If there's one thing I owe you, it's my voice. I owe you for this, Campbell. You'll be hearing from me, and I can assure you that the plug will be pulled on a cess. Thank you. Good night. Something you should see. Object found. What is it? Image bank. Oh, yes, right. You uh, still have the video chip. Matisse. Early die. As a precaution, I would like to relieve Hernandez of her duties for 24 hours and then reconsider. Has the medical officer been party to this decision? It's my recommendation. We're reluctant to slow down the rate of experimentation, but Assess has also reported a significant degree of anxiety which could jeopardize the progress of research. Azure Pharmaceuticals have been noticing the same symptoms in their top researchers for years. Did Escher play any part in initiating Assess? In initiating, no but they contributed. Recognizing the early warning signs with Ms. Hernandez demonstrates its usefulness, I would say. The medical officer has taken this decision. Ms. Hernandez will confer regularly with Assess, and hopefully we can reinstate her as a science officer before too long. What the hell's happened here? You're right. The cat's dead. I don't think she's been in here. Try as you're Jean. Paula! Can you hear me? I better take a look. Extraction of bone marrow from subject Paula Hernandez. Date and time as recorded. <laughs> on the floor, the lights are shorted, and Paul is nowhere to be found. Oh, Captain, there's something else. Yeah? The cat can no longer be counted as a member of the crew. What do you mean? Well, if you're on that, it would be a chance. Nothing else is. Any sign of Paula? Yes, I'm afraid so.
I've started the abandonment procedure. Don't touch the dock, Harvey. Leave the area immediately. What are you doing, Paula? You know what I'm doing, Shannon. I'm going to release the ACRV. I'm taking control. You've got to get out of there, Carvey. Paula says she's going to launch. Look to your right, first airlock. Go through it. Now! If she fires the release ports, the whole sector will be pressure. Is the door switched to manual? Yes. Good. That means we can open it from the corridor. She's not strong enough to resist us. Well, that's a hell of a risk. She may not be bluffing. It's evident that after eight hours, the vaccines have been over the first effect. But most importantly... I still don't understand why. She wanted to succeed. No, not why she injected herself. I should have seen that coming, but why this reaction to the vaccine? If it was the vaccine. What do you mean? You don't want to watch this. Well, talk to me. It's too late to save my cat. I need some of the cat's blood. Julius, show me the ACRV status. Unlock sensor switch. ADS disengaged. Air sample, good. Habit systems, okay. Did she pick up a life plug? <sighs> Negative. Walter, if Paula switches back to auto, I suggest that we run an evac scenario immediately. That will override all her commands. Right, I got that. Are you ready? Yep. And that's good. Paula, tell me how you're feeling. Like death. You're putting yourself in a very dangerous position. I thought this was a rescue vehicle. And everyone else. If you sabotage the ACRV, we lose our means of escape. It's no use trying to make me feel guilty. from the ACRV. Hell, she's not bluffing. There's no way to override. How much time do we have? 10, 15 minutes, depending on our rate of breathing. Look at this, look at this. Hordenine, tyramine, that's the cacti. Doxyphenethylamine. Just tell me! That mescaline, plus half a dozen equally powerful plant toxins. I think I know what's happened to Paula. Yeah, but that's cat's blood. Oh, right, nothing... and look at its behavior recently. Extreme mood changes, freaking out in avionics, then crawling away somewhere to die. The same symptoms as Paula. The cat was poisoned by my plant. I think it transferred the poison to Paula. Catherine, it's not the leukemia vaccine. Kill the alarm. Paula's been contaminated with a number of plant toxins, hallucinogens. Why else plants? She's experiencing some form of psychosis. Can it be treated? The substances are identifiable. We should be able to synthesize an antidote. We have to get out first. I've killed all the animals. You haven't, Paula. All the rats are mine. I didn't realize they were in such pain. 10 micrograms of G6, 20, causes nausea and severe headache. It's not not the vaccine. The cat infected you with something from the hydroponic. It's altered your state of mind. The cat was looking sick, how is it? No answer. So it's dying too. Increase the rate of oxygen. Well, so how much time does she have left? Well, it depends on how she is. Uh, a conservative estimate. A few minutes, and that's not conservative. I didn't mean to let anyone down. We can hear you. You're, you're ill. Ill. No one's blaming you for anything. We should have been able to help you earlier, but we can help you now. You just have to switch off the air vent. I'm to blame. Wait. I was unprofessional. I started human trials. It sounds lethal. It would be if you or I took it, but Paul's metabolism is in a bizarre state. Extreme measures are required. This antidote is a complete new substance. You've got no idea what effect it will have. What did you have in mind when you grew the damn plants? It was never intended for humans. It was for my cockroaches. Someone outside. 
outside the door. I can hear things. If she doesn't know if there's someone outside the door, there may as well be. She'll go down there. All that needs a reason to live. Susan, I can't order you to put your own life in danger. If you go down there, it's your decision. But she won't listen to anyone else. I'm the last person she wants to hear. I seem to always say the wrong thing. Say whatever's necessary, whatever it takes. She's in a critical condition. think it's you. It usually is. You sound so close. Well, I'm just two meters away from you, Paula. You're not going to activate the ACRV. You would kill me too. Into pieces. I'm counting on it. I mean it, smart ass. Do some. It's working. Cave? She almost died. Paul is going to be fine. We'll see, Lyle. your words of comfort. You look absolutely fine. Are you fine? I feel great. And the symptoms? Have they gone completely? What symptoms? 
Paula, do you remember anything that I said to you when you were in the ACLE? I don't think so. That's probably for the best. Your body needs to protect itself. That's why it produces antibodies. <laughs> so you remember, right? Did you say anything to me when we were in there? Of course I did. Of course I talked to you. Nothing in particular. Thank you. Carve says it will take a while to recall. If I ever do. You just need to rest. So you rest, okay? Susan? Yeah? What color are my eyes? Blue. I think blue. 